Okay, so I look into your website. So you are providing IT services for 15 yes. years. Uh, that's what I gathered. Uh, yeah, and yeah. Like, I, yeah. Mm -hmm. I went to your website and check actually. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, since actually we, we are celebrating uh, 20, 20 years of business uh, this year in, oh. in China. Oh, yeah. congratulations. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. I need to update the website. <laughs> That's right. yeah, it's it's 15 year. years. So, luckily, <laughs> I mentioned that now you know what yeah. to update. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so let me just. And uh, when it comes to using Crawl Q, when was the last time you used it? Um, I, I don't know. I, I did a bit of, uh, I filled a bit some, you know, like for information for training antenna or something like that, uh, I don't know, maybe a month or two ago. And I, I've been trying, you know, on and off, but I couldn't really, uh, uh, you know, really get my, my footing on the, on the, the applications. A bit really how, what, can, what I can do and how to do it. And also I was a bit... Uh, overwhelmed and uh, so yeah so I, I didn't really use it uh, very very much uh, in the okay. past uh, few years but no, no problem is, that's what no. i am here for exactly exactly <laughs> <laughs> exactly that's the reason why i'm here okay all hmm. right so what i'll do right now is share my screen okay. and uh, okay just give me a moment And I, I will even show you our new website. Okay. Okay. <laughs> there you go. So I think you can right. see my screen now. Yeah. Yeah. I can. See. Okay. So this is our new website. It's so different from the previous one that we've seen, I'm sure. And I'm just wondering first, I'd like to get your feedback on this hero section. And what do you think of this message, the headline and the subheadline? Mm. Um, I think the, the, the main heading is a bit, uh, um, uh, it's a bit, you know, it doesn't really roll, uh, roll on the tongue very easily. I think maybe it could be fun. Yeah, I understand what it means, but uh, I think it maybe could be simpler. Uh, okay. But uh, however, the the subtitle is good. This is this is clear. Okay, I will generate the uh, generative AI to reset trade data and scale your business. Okay, this this makes sense. Drive growth with AI powered marketing sites. Uh, you know, it's a bit of a mouthful. Uh, okay. So I, I, I would, yeah, I would maybe make something a little simpler, but uh, yeah. I, uh, other than that, it's it's okay. Yeah. Okay, no problem. It's okay. I just need to get some feedback because I'm sure. I keep on how call that every time I keep on asking users what do you think, and yeah, so because we want to improve this as much as we could. Okay, so thanks so much for that. Okay, so now let's start and. What I'll do right now is take you through, I recall you mentioned something like you filled up so many information about your business, mm -hmm. All right? Okay, so let's do this. Um, uh, what I'll do now is create a new campaign. Mm -hmm. And now when we create a campaign, previously this was called Workspace. So I yeah. need to show you what, what happened. And now when we create a new campaign, we no longer have to answer those so many questions oh okay <laughs> okay so now what i'll do is i'll pick up information from where did where did i get that so i want to actually i want to work on your website oh, okay sure but not really your website uh, this one oh. Net 5K CN. It's a uh, netk5 dot com dot cn. Uh, I can I can right. say it to you on the. Is there? Uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's here. Okay. Already right. picked it up, and I have here our one. Yeah, that's correct. Your what is your product name? Uh, it depends. Uh, uh, we have a lot. Well, actually, we don't really have product. We have mostly services. Or service but, name. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's say. Um, 
Let, let's do it for a Wi-Fi survey, for example. So we do we do a lot of Wi-Fi surveys. So it could be uh, yeah, no Wi-Fi site survey and planning, for example. That could be a good uh, Wi-Fi installation and survey. planning. Yeah, for example, if you want. Or site site survey is better. Uh, site survey. Yeah. Site installation. Sorry. Site survey. Survey. Uh, S U R V E Y S. Oh, survey. Okay, site survey. survey. Let's do that. Yeah. And okay, so the campaign name we say is. It's, uh, K5 it's K5, yeah. on my so that I know that it's yours. Oh, the, okay. There's no no X, just net K5. Oh, net K5. Net no X, N E T K5. Yeah, it's a bit. It's also a bit a mouthful. It's a bit also a bit complicated. Remember. Yeah, it's it, a his, it takes me some, really. me some time. So it's okay. Doesn't matter. Okay, and company name is. And yeah. it K five, yeah. K five. Okay, yeah, I fine. got it right this time. And should I say yeah. that the main topic of interest here is Wi-Fi? Yeah, sure. Wi-Fi. Any more specific topic? Um, Wi-Fi anal uh, wi analysis and troubleshooting, maybe. This is and troubleshooting. Mm -hmm. And who do I want to target? So who do you want to target? Uh, mostly, um, you know, decision makers of uh, companies in China. Uh, so yeah, it could be you know owners or general managers or IT managers or you know. Uh, decision makers of companies in China. Yeah. Okay. Like uh, CEO, IT managers. Yeah. Yeah, team managers, founders, CIO. All right. CIO and maybe CTO. Let's do that. Oh, uh, CTO, yeah, maybe. Yeah, you're a CTO. Is also, yeah, yeah, to do. Right, okay. Yeah. And let's see. Now, this is something I haven't done before. So let's see if we can get some data. Yeah, I don't think you will get much data in China because you know if you're based on Google, uh, you know Google is blocked here. So uh, you, I don't think you will get. Anyway, you can try. You can yeah, try. we let's try. I, I don't know actually if we could. Okay. Uh, for me in Hong Kong, I also couldn't get a lot of information. So what mm -hmm. I do is I look for a parallel in the US, mm -hmm. and in one of my products, I have um, what is it? So I have we have very similar weather conditions or climate conditions as Florida. So I use that as my base. Ah, okay. For it. yeah. So that's one way of doing it. If we don't have enough information. So now um what Kroki is doing is it's doing the research now for us. Remember the time that you were filling up um hundreds of questions about your business? Yeah. Now it's yeah. doing it for you. Ah, okay, that's good. <laughs> yeah, because it was really uh, yeah. actually all, all the all the data that I that I input before they they are still used or they are discarded. Um, they are still used for that campaign. Yes, but if you want, um, you can create a new one, and you can create it this way. Okay. Do you know how many workspaces do you have in your account? Or campaigns? Yeah, I, I I should have some workspaces in my account. Yes, uh, let me see. Uh, I know campaigns are zero. Strange. Why? Right. So yeah, don't let me check. Yeah, yeah, I have several campaigns. Uh, okay, so see. but you can create um, a new campaign. Ah, uh, sure. Okay. And then we will find out. Oh, you have some data. Okay, that's oh, good. Okay. It's a new okay, so if I create a new campaign, it will um, will, it, will it use the the data that I uh, that I inserted before or not really? Um, no, it won't use the data that you have inserted before. Okay. It's okay, a different one. So it's like um, it's a completely new workspace. Okay, Let's put it that way. Yeah. And just make sure that um, don't 
open okay for example you have campaign one in one tab and you have campaign two in another tab don't um make sure you only have one tab open because if not then it would process data from the other uh, okay. workspace yeah yeah i still call it workspace but it should be campaign okay okay so now we are here on the dashboard and let me show you now what are what is on the dashboard okay here is your campaign name so it's the net k5 wi-fi site survey here at the bottom is your credits okay um what i'd like to do is net k5 okay when I put a heart here, it means it's one of my favorite. It's my favorite, one of my favorite campaigns, and it will just make sure that it's on the top. Especially, mm -hmm. this is especially useful when you have a lot of campaigns mm -hmm. like I do. Okay. So, okay, so I say I put this one in there, and what it will do is so later, I can show you. Now I see, why is it? I don't see it. Did I put a heart on it? Oh, there it is. So it's here this time. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's because it's a small, uh, small end, that's why. Right, okay. So next we have here on the dashboard, this is the, this will take it to the old dashboard. Mm -hmm. If you want to go there, yeah, and I recall that you, you used to fill up the market research, so it's here yes. on this engine, and mm -hmm. you can find that it's already all filled up. Mm. Oh, okay, oh, cool. Right, so this is your vertical, this is your ideal prospect. Mm -hmm. oh, that's okay right so everything is already here okay um of course if you think that uh you can further refine it you can further refine it no problem anytime mm -hmm. no, it just probably not for six uh, six years old. okay okay <laughs> actually a long time ago like i think i started using crawl key about 18 months ago and mm. that's what i told um Harish, hey, you know what? I'm, I'm giving up answering all these questions. And mm -hmm. then I'm sure that he heard that from a lot of people. That's why when they did this, like, we don't have to enter too much information now. Okay. Then they re rolled it out. And they actually had this already for the past, I think, almost a year now when they had it. Oh, really? Okay. So we're and then now we're trying to do a lot of onboarding so that people know that hey a lot of a lot of things have happened in cold here and it's time to start using it okay yeah, <laughs> all right thing, yeah. okay oh by the way you are in china so i wonder do you have any access to open ai cloud uh, yeah not really uh, yeah we can it's uh, it's a bit complicated here yeah, to, to access open ai so that's that's why i tend to use uh, integrated solutions like yours so you basically i use uh, your your api and i use your your open ai and not mine so okay. it's easier That's to good. access this one yeah right because that is also for me the um, an issue like i'm in hong kong yeah. and i also cannot access all those exactly, <laughs> so, yeah. mm -hmm. okay so anyway let's go back here to the dashboard here mm -hmm. are the LLM. So we have the GPT 3.5 from the open ai oh, okay. gpt4 gpt4 mm -hmm. now has um google uh, sorry, Google, GPT-4 Vision. So it's both the text and the one with the image. Okay. You have Gemini and Claude. So Gemini also can process images. Okay. This is the dull E3 button. And these are actually part of the add-on. So that's what we call the Crow Q Pro add-on, the GPT-4 Gemini and Claude. And yeah, so it's available. I, I'm not sure if you are subscribed to this one. But uh, normally it's, it's the oh, hold on let me check. it's the um, the SEO add-on right or is it, or is um, it not related? Oh, you have a Reddit and Quora add-on and the LLM add. The, previously, it's called Chat Athena 
Pro add-on. Now it's called Pro Q Pro add-on. Okay. So anyway, yeah, I have an add-on somehow, but uh, actually, this is, yeah, this is also a bit confusing sometimes. The to check the, um, I'll say, check my 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 plants and know a bit what I'm, you know, what I'm doing. Uh, hold on, let me see. Uh, where where can I say? Where can I see my? Uh, I okay, plant, where, where can you I, see that? Yes, if you go to your profile. Oh, yeah, okay, I see. Okay, and you can see here, I have Quora add-on, Reddit add-on, ProQ Pro add-on. Okay, yeah, so I have, uh, this is, it's not because normally, I, I think I, I have the, the Q, uh, the Crawl Q Pro normally, but it's there's the same because yeah, I I have a button that I uh, can I can cancel uh, Pro Q uh, Pro add-on so that means I have it. It means I guess. have it, yes. Okay, but I still I still have the upgrade to Pro add-on yearly. Ah, because it's yearly. That's why. Okay, I see. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Yearly, so, okay, I see. And yearly, it's a uh, how much is it? But the problem that maybe I will lose my uh, my rebate if I do yearly. Why? Actually, no, it's not working. I know because I need to have a pop up. Okay, hold on. Uh, yeah, complicated, but okay. Oh, yeah, all right, yeah, okay. So I better start my monthly then. Okay, all right, cool. Okay, so next we have here, uh, this is where we can, ex we can explore Crawl Queue. And when you click this one, it will take you through uh, some explanation about things that you can find on our dashboard. Okay. So it's, it's a walkthrough or a demo. And this one are the configurations. So you have your the market research, the data oh, sources, okay. what are the tools and the temperature, and all these, the meaning of each of the data source, creative tools, and temperature, you can actually find it on the explore section. Okay. 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 And the next I have here, the get started here. Since we have already made a lot of um, improvements yeah i know we have a lot of new features and all that we created mm -hmm. a new uh, getting started series of video and it's a series of, of seven videos okay and you can see oh but you are in china can you access youtube yeah yeah i can access YouTube. <laughs> normally i'm not supposed to but well I know that's why I first asked, can you access YouTube? Because, okay, I recall that China, you use Yoko. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's Yoko. Yeah. Yeah. Normally, I cannot use YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Um, how about Vimeo? If um... uh, I forgot the tree. Uh, I, I never really use it, so I don't know. But um, I, I, I guess it's probably blocked, uh, blocked as well. Okay, anyway, soon we will do it self-hosted. It won't be on YouTube. Okay, that's good. Cool. Okay. And this is where we can upload documents. So oh, we okay. can upload, uh, say, if you have an ebook or something that you want to upload, it's you can use, you can upload PDF, you mm -hmm. can, um, but under 2 MB. So that's the only limitation we have right now. Okay under 2 MB and I don't have anything to upload. I mean, we, 2, 2 MB total or 2 MB for each file? 2 MB for each file. Okay. Right. This is where we can integrate apps like YouTube or Trello. Okay. Okay, and then these are what we call the guided insights. So this is the basic um, market research that we do mm -hmm. normally. And personally, I use items one, which is the create customer decision journey. Mm -hmm. I do ideal prospect persona summary and attractive high impact content topics. Um, for me, this is the most relevant, but you can check on the description of each and you know you'll know what you mean so while we are talking while take you through the dashboard i'll start with this one so it's simple one click and then it will start doing a research for you okay and then you know it's working now here we have the crawl queue search what it does is it will search your entire um campaign 
what you like we don't have anything in the campaign yet so we don't we cannot search anything but it will search all your conversation here and oh, okay. here are the list of prompts um do you know also that you can create your own prompts okay okay so you can also create your own prompts so here you have the article uh newsletter article so we have different types of um prompt here and choose which one you need it's also searchable okay the next we have here the brand voice mm -hmm. and here in the brand voice this is quite interesting because if i click this new brand voice you actually could do a lot you can say hey this is my creative goal i want brand awareness i want thought leadership my audience profile is this let's say technical economic decision maker creative theme um where is that informative so this is just an example and you can choose tone what writing style personality type and and others and this is the information about what are the meaning of uh what's the meaning of the creative theme what's a literary device so you can find also here oh, all the information that you need now when you create a new brand voice it is also possible that uh let's say brand awareness let's just do that an economic decision maker okay so let's see create brand voice and you will find your brand voice here on the save brand voices and what it will do is that each time you create a prompt it would add this on the prompt so that oh, it, um you have a consistent how do you call that uh you have a consistent tone you have a consistent voice across all your platforms okay another thing you can do is um you want something more specific so you already have this and your goal is brand awareness targeting economic decision maker now oh i don't need the rest that's okay and then you want to add on things like hey avoid words like avoid words unlock unleash no you have we have these words that are we marketers are already saying hey the market is so saturated with these words now so elevate okay so you can be more specific on the brand voices and you can save it and this is your brand voice now you have a way to uh, like to use uh, text that I already wrote like from our blog post and like this and create a brand voice from those uh, from those texts mm. we'll try to mimic the existing okay let me think how to do that okay let's see how, if we can do that but I didn't think of that how to do so okay. well, no problem. let me go to your website and Let's go to the brand voice. Yeah. You take okay. you for example. You go to uh, news and tips, for example, and you take any uh, blog post, and there you can. Uh... Okay, so let's do this. Let me try that. Uh, let. But there is one this also. Wi Fi like this. Uh, down. This is a blog from my website. Mm -hmm. Okay. Please craft a brand voice based on this blog. Let's try that. Okay, 
So let's see if it, what it comes back with, and then we can use that for the brand voice. Okay, so in the meantime, um, we have this prompt, and this is the answer. So this is to trigger the awareness stage of ideal prospect. Mm -hmm. These are the drivers, educational content about common Wi-Fi issues, case studies showcasing how other companies in China improve their operations mm -hmm. with better Wi-Fi. Um, Okay, so this is your mm. brand voice. Um, okay. And then... Let's do this. And let's go to brand voice and say... New brand voice, but actually you don't need to use a new one. This is how you go and edit. Oh, okay. And then here. So this is your brand voice now. Okay. Okay. So, and then, uh, so we have a work around. Like it's, it's more of um, finding a creative way of, you know, mm, making things so. work. Okay. So we do. All right, so now you can do that. So now we already have the customer decision journeys, and these are the uh, to trigger the awareness stage. Okay. Or the yeah. drive the key drivers. So free webinars or workshops, social media campaigns hmm. on the importance of reliable Wi-Fi for businesses, press releases, and news articles. And some barriers, lack of knowledge about the existence of specialized wi-fi analysis services which is mm -hmm. true because i didn't know that actually that exists all i know is that <laughs> oh, i have a wi-fi that's it <laughs> okay. okay um skepticism towards the effectiveness of such services mm, that's, to a good, uh, that's a good point to three yeah? really good point mm -hmm. so um, basically you need to work on this to make and make it um address these barriers so that they become more aware and mm -hmm. there are, these are some of the solutions seo optimized content that targets keywords related to wi-fi problems faced by companies in china so this is really very specific to your mm -hmm. audience to your yeah, good, business yeah, yeah. Uh, and this is what coq does like if you go to chat gpt because um in some of my onboarding um the users also challenged me hey chat gpt can also do that so I said, okay, mm -hmm. let's do that. We have exactly the same prompt. Uh, do the awareness, uh, five drivers to trigger the awareness stage of my ideal prospect. Mm -hmm. And they, of course, they got generic content that is not specific to their business because they, the chat GPT doesn't have the context. Mm -hmm. So what CrawlQ does is that it has a context at the back um during the market research stage when we started the campaign remember that we waited for a few minutes mm -hmm. so it takes the data the market research data plus your prompt and then we use whatever llm you want to use and the output is specifically just for you and your business okay yeah, yeah, that makes sense yeah and it saves a lot of time okay so let's go now to the next one and remember our screen where we have these uh, nine prompts so it was yeah. only the guided insights and i say i want to do one two and four so let me do number two so every time you want to go to these uh insights just click these guided insights the light bulb and it will take you there okay okay and i'm actually to be honest i'm very surprised that it came up with information from china that, because you know that google is mm. not in china okay so now it these... it's, uh, it's pretty good actually yeah, yeah, it's um, interesting right and the and then one another thing that i'd like to do is to find out what are the attractive high impact content topics Okay, so while we are uh, waiting for the re response here, I'll show you this one. So the CEO 
uh, they're op overseeing company-wide operations and technology infrastructure. So this is currently what they do. The top five pain points, frequent Wi-Fi network downtime, leading to lost productivity, challenges in identifying and resolving. Oh, we are there. Network performance issues, compliance with ever-changing IT security regulations, mm -hmm. high costs associated with poor network management solutions, limited visibility into the health and performance of their IT infrastructure. So basically, you need to address this. And then this is what they need. They need a reliable Wi-Fi analysis and troubleshooting services to minimize downtime. So um this is a very important to your users uh minimizing downtime is very important and they need a comprehensive it audit services that ensure compliance and security so mm -hmm. it seems that compliance and security is important for your audience yeah this is the thing i am not in the it industry so i don't know any of this no, but no it's worries. telling you exactly mm -hmm. hey um and i think you can verify that these are correct okay yeah and this is where you could find your customers so you mm -hmm. have the industry conferences on cybersecurity and tech management online forums okay professional networking events in china technology trade shows and tech focus webinars offering education on current trends in it security Mm. And these are your type five market geography and locations. So Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, Shenzhen, and Chengdu. Okay, yeah, 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 makes sense. Yeah. So we cover uh, four of those. Okay, pretty good. You cover four of those. So which one you don't cover, Shenzhen? Uh, Shenzhen, we cover it from Guangzhou and from Hong Kong, but uh, Chengdu, we don't really cover it for now. Oh, we cover it a little bit, but not that much. Yeah. Oh, you have so, an yeah. office in Hong Kong? Yeah, yeah, sure. We have an office in Hong Kong. In uh, where is it? In Kowloon. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. It's where. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Uh, yeah, in uh, Austin Road. Austin Road in mm. Kowloon. In Kowloon. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay. it's a small office but uh, yeah let's go come on all the offices in hong kong are small yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nothing compared to oh my god you cannot compare our space to the space you got there in china oh that's not fair <laughs> uh, yeah. it's it's, uh, it's really crowded there yes um, so we have the next one these are the attractive high impact content topics Mm -hmm. So these are what the these are the current five problems. Oh, Network okay, downtime yeah. causing operational disruptions. So you could create content around these current mm -hmm. problems and how you solve these problems for them. Okay. Okay, lack of real time visibility into network health. Okay. And these are the top 10 questions they can ask. How can I reduce frequent Wi-Fi network downtime in my company? So you could actually write a blog about this mm -hmm. or create a social media content around this. Then blog titles, my ideal prospect will want to read. For the Quora question, do, do you need the, the Quora and Reddit add-on to have them or they are, integ they are integrated? Um, they are integrated. I am not sure exactly if you need the Reddit and Quora add-on for this because I have it and I yeah. like it because I get a lot of information from Reddit and Quora. Sure. That I I cannot turn off the Reddit and Quora because I have it. Um, okay. Okay, how do I choose the right Wi-Fi analysis and troubleshooting service for my business? So these are the questions that they typically ask. So you need to answer these questions. Mm -hmm. um, you can also create uh, a blog post on that. I'm not sure if, I'm sure you have some Chinese speaking staff, right? Yeah, of course, yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. So what they can also do is you have these um, like a Quora alternative in China. I'm not so mm -hmm. sure what that is. And you also have a Reddit alternative in China because I don't think they use Reddit and Quora there that much. Mm -hmm. um, what, what they can do is so you already have these questions and then mm -hmm. you tell your Chinese speaking staff, hey, find these questions questions on Quora, on Reddit, and answer them and answer it from our, uh, say, company account. Say you have a NetK5 um, account and oh, say, I, I am this person. I'll say, hey, I am Mr. Wong from NetK5 and this is my, uh, and this is how we, can reduce frequent Wi-Fi network downtime in my company. But of course, they have to do that in Chinese. And I don't know how to do that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 So, but, but here we are playing with the language. And what? how can we creatively use this information? Okay. okay. That good then. So next is we have the 10 blog titles that my ideal prospect will want to read. Mm -hmm. So I see that you already have um blogs and these are the additional ones that are specific to wi-fi site survey and wi-fi site survey yeah and these are the reddit questions they would ask so look uh ask your staff to look for these kind of questions in the reddit um, equivalent in china right and then what you can do here is, for example, you already have these uh, topics. You can, okay, so would you like assistance formulating questions or content that resonates with these decision makers' challenges and interests? And just say, hey, yes, I would like assistance. on content that resonate mm -hmm. with these decision makers. So it so you basically now are going for um, you know the next step when it comes to content creation and it will create a content strategy for you actually let me see that uh, how we can create a content strategy by the way what do you want exactly to know more about how to use scroll queue for your company Okay, so here are some of the blog post ideas. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, and then here are the LinkedIn content ideas. Now, um, because blogs are actually quite low, so let's go to the LinkedIn content ideas. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'll say... Uh, on LinkedIn, I want an image. And remember, you have this doll E3. Mm -hmm. So you could just click that one and say here, um, write a LinkedIn post about how real Okay, so write a LinkedIn post about how real-time network monitoring can prevent operational disruptions. As simple as this one, and it will be according to your brand and according to your, I forgot, the brand voice. Let's use that one. Right, so LinkedIn post. 
and you already have the picture here and let's de click this one by the way do you also do a lot of programming oh uh, no we don't do much programming. we do really infrastructure okay because um, actually we have one user who created an SQL script? I actually have no idea what an SQL script is from an <laughs> image. Okay. And he even validated it, like um, he ran the code. I don't know how you call that. He ran the code somewhere to make sure that it's correct. And it, oh, worked. Okay. it worked. Wow. So from an image, okay. So yeah, yeah I see. Yeah, yeah I, remember, I think I saw that, 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 uh, that post from there. Uh... Uh, oh, are you active in our Facebook group? A bit, not super active, but yeah, I, I keep track on it. Yeah. Okay, so here we have see. So this is a post on LinkedIn that you can use. CEOs, imagine a day without the dreaded network down alert. Real time mm -hmm. network monitoring isn't just about fancy tech jargon. It's your silent guardian. So mm -hmm. here at okay. NetK5, we've seen firsthand how proactive monitoring can transform chaos into control with our Wi-Fi analysis and troubleshooting services. You gain mm -hmm. all this. Okay. In, sh in short, real-time monitoring is not just about keeping the lights on. It's about ensuring that every aspect of your business is powered for peak performance. Okay. So there you go. And you even have an image. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so I mean, this is now how we work inside Colt. You like, hey, we have a post that is really custom or that is created based on your client, based on your company. Mm -hmm. And if you try to do this, like write LinkedIn post about how real time network monitoring can prevent operational disruptions on mm -hmm. open AI, like you go to the normal chat GPT, and I tell you, it won't come up with this kind of output. So this is very okay. personalized. Um, yeah, okay, let's say, um, do you have any specific questions or anything else that you want to know or any specific use case? Um for non not really no, I think it's good. Oh, yeah, like maybe um do you have some ways to to integrate with uh, with other apps or something like that? Like uh, or like for example the, the LinkedIn um LinkedIn post, uh, any way to send that to my uh, post scheduler on LinkedIn and uh, and let it uh, you know post it on LinkedIn by itself. Is there any kind of you know uh, integration and automation uh, possibilities? Um, we don't do the actual posting or like a social media scheduler. Yeah, no. You need to get a different app for that. that that's right. My, my question is, is there um, uh, automation that uh, we could, uh, I, that I could let, you know, when I generate uh, generate a LinkedIn post, for example, with uh, CrowQ, it could send it to my application that will do the sending. Or the scheduling and sending. You see my meaning? Kind of either using Pabli or Zapier or something like that, you know, okay. kind of aut automation uh, with API okay. or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me check if that is possible. Okay. Pabli okay. integration. Okay. So let me ask uh, how we can make that work. So thanks for the feedback. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, so anything else that you would like to know? No, that sounds good to me. Uh, no, it looks good. And it's, yeah, so it's mostly oriented toward the uh, marketing line. So it's... Uh, and you know, not only it's marketing, um, what do you need in your business? No, no, it can be, uh, can be, yeah, it can be anything, it can be marketing, it can be uh, blog, uh, blog writing, it can be research, it can be actual, actual research uh, or technical research or solutions, these kind of things. It can, it can do that. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. It can do that. Yeah. So, for example, what we can do is um, let's present. Um, do you have any pain point right now in, in your business? Mm, yeah, more something about uh, you know tracking, uh, tracking performance, uh, defining and following KPIs, this kind of thing, specifically for our business. Okay. Maybe we can say that. How can I? effectively track my business performance 
Is that the right question? How can I effectively yeah. track my business performance? Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot to turn this off. Well, we will come up with a picture too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is what happens. How, how many credits does the image generation take, by the way? Uh, it's included in Crawl Q Pro, the add on. Ah, yes, yeah. okay. Okay. So you, right. you don't worry about the credits. <laughs> okay. It's unlimited. Okay, very good. Yeah, so let's see if it works. Yeah, let's see what it comes up with. It's quite interesting that it comes up with, in fact, you can create an entire content um, strategy. Okay, so tracking your business performance effectively is a multifaceted process, that's true. Mm -hmm. So these are the things, these are the steps you need to take so that you know your company's performance. Obje set clear objective, implement KPIs, use dashboard and regular financial review, customer feedback, employee performance tracking. So all of these things, which makes sense. And then, so we have the picture there. So what we can do now is say, hey, I want to dwell deeper into this. Okay. Uh, okay. I want to set clear objectives. Mm -hmm suggest five objectives that we can work on okay so now i'm showing you the function where you where it's like you have um a business consultant that consults for you 24 7. <laughs> Yeah, this app is making me redundant. <laughs> Just kidding. But um, yeah, but the thing is, you still need the human touch on this one. And you also still need to implement. So you actually have a lot to do. Yeah. Okay, so these are the clear objectives mm -hmm. you can work on to enhance your business performance, especially if you focus on providing IT solutions like Wi Fi analysis and troubleshooting. So we have here improved customer satisfaction, increased service efficiency. These are the objectives. So it can also help you define all these things. Just ask and ask and ask until you are happy with the, you get a clear answer to your question. Okay. 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 And so, so, and then if if I update a PDF related to my topic, uh, then I can also uh, it can include the, the content of that PDF uh, into the analysis, right? Right, right, right. Do you have any PDF that you want yeah, sure. to? Uh, I don't know if I can send anything now. Right, if you can send one to me, please. Sure. Uh, where's the hops? I'm not really used to sessions. Uh, how do I send the document in here? Ah, in the chat, maybe? Uh, uh, in the chat, yeah, yes, I think in the chat, yes. Yeah. Uh, let me double check if I have this here or not. Um, yeah, for example, this. Yeah, okay. Um, Yeah, that's, that's how big is it? Yeah, one to three. Should be, three, should be okay. Three yeah. or less. Mm. Yeah, one to three. All right, I sent it, I think. Okay, I'm chat. waiting. Oh, yeah, it's sending it. Okay, got it. For example. There you go. Then now let's say select document. Mm 
Okay, so now we have the document here and let's see. Where is that? The practical guide. Can you find a practical guide? Oh, this one. Okay. Double click to preview. Right, it's this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now I'll select the the practical guide and I'll just click outside the box so that it disappears. And what would you like to know? Uh, one good question. Um, like for example, it could be a, a step by step template for a, for a Wi Fi project management, for example, for a Wi Fi installation based project on, management. Okay, yeah. based on this document. Write a step by step uh, guide mm -hmm. on Wi Fi. Uh, sorry, what, what kind of step by step um, guide? Do you think? Yeah, but, uh, on the Wi Fi uh, uh, installation project, for example. Project. Wi-Fi installation project. Okay, so now it will get the information from a the uh, from <clears throat> from the PDF and add it here, and then create uh, apply the learnings of the, of the based on the book. Apply those key information to your business. Mm. There you go. Right, so you can see we have the project initiation mm -hmm. and planning. Okay. We have the site survey, network design, procurement, installation, testing and optimization, documentation and training, That's launch good, and monitoring. Then. It is pretty good, right? Yeah, so cool. it's specific to your business. So it's taken context from the document, the key learnings on the Based on this document, how they would do um, installation. Mm -hmm. And these are the steps. All right. And you can see that it mentioned your company, Net K5, because that's what we entered in the market research when we were building the new campaign. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's really good that, first of all, you don't have to enter a lot of information now about your company, that it does the research automatically for you, and that it mm -hmm. does this as well, like really specific for your business. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, that's, uh, that's pretty good, yeah. That's, uh, that's uh, really nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. So any other questions? Um, no, not for now. I think I will. Uh, I need to uh, work a bit. Hello. Is there any any other things that uh, that are possible to do to be done? Or? Um. Yeah, actually, there are a lot of things that are possible. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> just ask in the group. That's one. Or email me. That's another option. So mm -hmm. um, maybe another thing I can show you is this. Like you can actually hear it. 
you can click that here response so say some people rather listen than read and this is very useful for those who like to hear it instead of reading okay. and it takes time uh, it slows down my computer whenever i am on a meeting like this okay so another thing we can do here is we can upload an image mm -hmm. ah let's see your little website i will do a a screenshot of your website and let's do a page teardown Still do that, okay? No. Oh, it's taking some time. It is taking some time. I don't know why. Okay. Well, okay. let me just. Uh, can happen sometimes. Right. You're in IT, so you understand all these. And sometimes it could happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I like it. You're not unreasonable. So basically, if you click this one, then we can hear a response. Um, okay. let's just have it. Um, another thing is that I took a screenshot of your website. Mm -hmm. um, only okay. took this section let me try to take a bigger picture file view okay. because this is another thing that I really like about this like we can tear down a landing page and window Okay, one more try. Okay, sorry about that. It's taking me time to do okay. it is calling window, it's calling screenshot. And it's finally doing it.
Okay, finally, file, save as. Okay, there you go. So I finally got it. So what I'll do mm -hmm. now is I'll attach your website um, mm -hmm. screenshot. So this is your website screenshot. And then okay. um, please analyze how this page can be improved. Take into consideration the top 10 managed IT services websites. Um, okay. Okay, so let's try that. Um, okay. Because this is something that is really useful and it's about how you use the tool because it's so capable. Oh, and we yeah, really yeah. need to know how to use it. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know that. I didn't know it was possible. So that's that's a good. Uh, yes. Good so um, if you find yourself like thinking, "Oh, I am," um, is this possible? Oh, how come you can't assist me with the request? Okay, let's try again. Oops. It could happen. Okay, let's just do this part here okay, it's not even attaching now okay let me try that again it sometimes it works sometimes not yeah how this page can be improved okay so we just ask one thing first But actually, when I created the new website for ProQ, I actually did this exercise. Mm -hmm. um, check the top 10 SaaS products website and suggest um, suggest an outline for my website, for my landing page, homepage. And it can do that. Okay, so here are no, the. Hang on. No, okay. So it tells you exactly how it can be improved. Okay, well, that's pretty good, actually. Yeah. 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 So I could actually send you the screenshot so that you don't have to take it anymore. The scrolling screenshot and the chat. <laughs> Give me a moment. Where is my session screen? Right. Since I already have it, you can use it. And the thing here is, for example, you've already created this one and you want to send this to your marketing person to improve the copy of your website. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is click this, and you can share this URL. Right. Hold on, Tom. Sorry. Okay. So here is what uh, what we had earlier. Yeah, they, they didn't call me at all. Maybe it's downstairs already. Sorry, just one. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Uh, I don't.
Sorry. <laughs> no problem. That yeah. happens. Okay. So now this is how you can share this document to others. Ah, okay. You can. Uh, how do you do? Ah, this show. Okay. Share with. Okay. Cool. All right. All right. Then you Take have this the, okay. one. And yeah. And another thing you can do is actually this. For example, um, you are you want to add something to here. Mm -hmm. You can just add something here. Okay. Let's say um, send this information. So say if you want to remind yourself first about something, send it information mm -hmm. to marketing. And you say save and it will be there. And okay. And anything else you want you wish to know? Well, that seems to be good now. It's a lot of information to process. So uh, I will oh, yeah, okay, I will okay. to this and, <laughs> and then I will see. No problem. Thanks, thank you so, much, hey, you're welcome. So just let me know if you have any other questions. You can find okay. me online on our mm -hmm. group. You can, okay. We have a Slack um community are you in there too uh, okay no I'm, I'm not using slack all that much so maybe not but, uh, okay no we, problem so we are on facebook but i'm just a bit worried because you're in china and there's no facebook there so yeah yeah um, yeah maybe i could try this Slack. Uh, is, is it on the website or how, how to access it um which the, one slack the, the slack uh slack community okay <laughs> i'll so? send it to you on the on the group okay on the the room yeah all right perfect then you see oh actually when you book the meeting it should be there oh, okay um let me just see that hope you that app slash onboarding <coughs> Okay. okay, so now I'll send you the, the link to Slack. Where is that now? Okay, so I already sent you the link to Slack. Okay. <coughs> And you can also find this later on. Um, after this call, you will get an email and it will tell you where to find all this information. Um, any other thing? So I think that's about it. If you have any questions, just ask us in either in Facebook, you can ask us on Slack. You can also send me an email. You have my email address. And um, okay, I'm trying to make. I'm trying to encourage people to sign up for our onboarding. So, mm -hmm. if you could post on Facebook how you found this onboarding, what is your experience like? That would be appreciated because the more the, the, the more our users know what are the capabilities of ProQ, the more that they will use it. Sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can do that. Then. No, no, no problem. No, I will do that. Okay. So thanks so much, Alban. Any, thank anything? you very much. You know, yeah. Okay, no, goodbye. good. Thank you. It was really, really useful. So thank you. Thank you very much for your time. And uh, yeah, I will, uh, I will uh, get back to using uh, Croku then a bit. Okay. Good. That's what I like to hear. Okay. Yeah. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. Yeah, bye.